Hi Ron, I hope you're doing well. I just got a really exciting message from Julian Thompson from Out There Learning. He and Bruce Hayward found some mobile footprints, which is super exciting. I think these are only like the 14th ever documented mobile footprints. Uh, Moa was a really big flightless bird endemic to New Zealand. Let's give him a call and learn a bit more about it. So Julian, uh, here you found uh, some awesome Moa footprints and where did you find them or what were you doing there? Yeah, okay. Thanks, Mornay. Uh, great to see you. Um, so uh, I was up in, you know, I, you know, I live near Wellington. So um, I, I went to Auckland to do some video filming with Bruce Hayward. And it, um, if you don't know Bruce, he's the guru of geology, well, pretty much for the whole of New Zealand, but certainly around Auckland and Northland. So we have, we um, set off on a bit of a road trip around Northland to do some videos of various geology spots. And uh, one of the places we went to was to film some Moa footprints, actually, that had been found in 2022. And they are being looked after care of Nati Fatua, who have um, a special storage space where the, these previously found footprints are, um, are being held. And there's four of those. And so anyway, we were in the process of filming these footprints just uh, for a story. And then having filmed them in their storage place, Bruce suggested we go up to the coast where they were found and he would explain the geology of that area. So um, you know, there we were on that coastline, uh, not actually particularly close to those footprints, probably a kilometre away or something. And um, and so we were going along and as a joke, I said, um, wouldn't it be a laugh if we found some more footprints? And he, he <laughs> sort of said, yeah, yeah, right, you know, sure thing. Um, as a bit that, that was a very unlikely possibility. But... Um, as we were walking back along this beach, um, we, we noticed some boulders and he said, oh, have we checked those out? And I said, no, we haven't. But now that you've made the suggestion, let's go and have a look. And lo and behold, there were these markings on a, a big boulder that had just fallen off the cliff. So they're very distinct, even though they're not, they're not perfect impressions, as you'll have seen from the images. But um, there they were. And uh, so there were... There's one boulder, and so instantly I got the camera out and started <laughs> talking about them. And um, and then we noticed there was a couple of other boulders nearby, so we checked those out. And um, some of them are very vague; like you really have to find, look, look around at a different angle with the light. But uh, they, we added up eventually uh, thirteen footprints, wow. and um, <laughs> there were like three. So actually what we did is we 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 thought we haven't got much time now. So we took some photos and then we went on our road trip. So for several days we were away and then we didn't tell anybody until we got back. And then we thought, let's go and have another look at these footprints. So by that point, we I think we thought we got nine or maybe 10 or something. Yeah. And we also called up Dan Thomas, who's from Auckland. He's an academic who, yes. who studied birds and footprints, and you probably know him. Um, yeah. And so he came along, and we went in the morning at a low tide, and uh, the light was much better to see them. It was kind of coming across from the side. Mm. And that's when we identified a few. In fact, he took a lot of photos. And so um, at some point soon, I hopefully will be able to get a 3D uh, sketch fab model of the boulders so that um, people can see those. And I'll, if, if I do, I'll put the link under the video on YouTube. Thanks so much, Julian, for taking the time to talk to us about that amazing find. That's definitely on my bucket list to find some Moa footprints now. Go check out the full video on Julian's YouTube channel. He goes into a little bit more detail about the footprints and what they could tell us about the animal itself. Stay safe and I'll see you on the next hunt. Mm -hmm.